What a great show. This has been terrific, but it's not over yet. Now we're in Eastern Connecticut. Our next stop takes us, everything Irish, on our journey to Norwich, where we discovered a really fun and cool place to unwind, meet good friends, and satisfy your hungry appetite for really good Irish comfort food and drink. Harp and Dragon Irish Pub Restaurant. I mean, just look at this place. The architecture, the decor, the stone, the brick, the solid woods, all give it that true Irish pub feel and flavor. And the tickets are coming, the orders are coming in. This is Josh Kennedy, he is the restaurant uh, kitchen manager here behind the scenes. And what are you gonna make first, Josh? Uh, we're gonna do our corned beef. Uh, the wheat. It's probably our most popular thing here, yeah. and uh, it's what we're famous for. Excellent, let's get to it. it smells good already. Right? Start off with our cabbage. A little clarified butter, a couple pieces of bacon, a little bit of sugar. Yeah, oh yeah, Just sweeten it up. A little salt, and a little pepper. So we're gonna let this saute up, let the bacon fat kind of get into the cabbage. Yep. Butter's gonna go through there, sweeten it all up with a little salt and pepper, uh, the sugar, and uh, it's super, super famous here. And that's our corned beef. Look at that. Is that beautiful, folks, or what? Yeah. The food is really good. Yeah. And there's just, a, I guess, the crowd, there's a good crowd here. Absolutely. You can hear the action behind us. Josh Kennedy, once again, the kitchen manager. And this is the general manager of Harbin Dragon in downtown Norwich. This is Gene Baker. Good to see you as well, Gene. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming out, guys. Absolutely. Welcome to the show. Hey, Josh, tell us about some of these masterpieces you whipped up in that kitchen. All right, we have uh, our corned beef that you guys saw. Uh, yeah. Probably our most popular item. Uh, and what we're famous for. Absolutely. Uh, this is something that we like to call our Irish pizza. This is just something we came up with. It's uh, our twist on a corned beef sandwich. Oh, fantastic. Um, also very popular. And then the classic bangers and mash. Can't Garlic, go wrong mashed with potatoes that. potatoes and some Irish sausage. Good stuff. Covered in a Guinness gravy. Absolutely. Gene, this place really packs it in, and you guys are legendary for good food, good portions, but you also have a lot of great specials that you do for folks in the area, right? Oh, absolutely. Almost every night of the week we've got something going on, whether it's uh, our weekly special, 3 to 6, where everything is half price. Um, we do a special on Saturday nights for what we call hometown heroes. Yeah. People in the uh, public service, uh, police, fire, medical, um, teachers, volunteers, and veterans all get half off after 9 o'clock. We do the same thing for industry, restaurant and hotel industry people on Wednesdays. We really got something going on all the time. Now, what's it like here? We're asking everybody, St. Patrick's Day in Norwich at Harp and Dragon. This has got to be. It's going to be huge. Saturday, we'll open up at 8 o'clock a.m. with an $8 all-you-can-eat breakfast buffet until 11. Eight bucks? We, eight bucks. And then we start doing an $8 all-you-can-eat corned beef and cabbage from there on out. That's fantastic. Now, like I said, the happy hour, 50% off everything? Everything. Everything with one exception, which is on Sunday, Monday, yeah. and Tuesday, we do a two inch thick cut prime ribs, yeah. uh, prime rib steak. And unfortunately, we don't do half off of that, but it's no, still yeah. very reasonably priced and it's very impressive to see. Now, how do you describe? I mean, it's a beautiful place. It's got the real authentic Irish pub feel, great architecture, great decor. We've been seeing that throughout this uh, segment. But how do you describe Harp and Dragon? What's the experience people will have when they come in here? It's really a great combination of things. It's, a, it's part neighborhood bar, and we've yeah. got regulars that we see several times a week. It's a great family restaurant. It's yeah. a great blue collar place. It's a great, you know, it's, it's it's really all things to all people. I've been here 47 years. It's one of the best bars I've found in my life. Now, do you eat here too? I eat here. What do you think of the food? Uh, it's good. Yeah. I come to St. Patrick's very much for the. Oh, St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Day.